How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you guys a beginner's guide to VPNs and what you need to know about VPNs. Now before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've just narrowed it down to these three as the best overall, but they all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs. Now a VPN or virtual private network is a tool that allows users to securely connect to a private network over the internet. VPNs are commonly used by individuals and businesses to protect their online privacy and security, and to access websites and services that may be blocked or restricted in their region. When you connect to a VPN, your internet traffic is routed through an encrypted tunnel to a server managed by the VPN provider. So in this case, I'll be in France as far as my internet is concerned, and if I go ahead and just uh, go to my IP finder, it'll think that I am in France simply because I'm connected to ExpressVPN's French server. Now, this makes it difficult for anyone on the same network as you to monitor or track your online activities. It allows you to appear as if you're located in a different region, which can be useful for accessing content that is only available in certain countries. There are many different VPN providers to choose from, and they all vary in terms of features, pricing, and reliability. Now, some VPNs are free to use, while others require a paid subscription. And it's important to carefully research and compare different VPNs before choosing one, as the quality and security of VPNs can vary greatly. And it's very simple. To use a VPN, you'll need to install the VPN software on your device and then connect to a server. Once you're connected, all of your internet traffic will be routed through the VPN, providing you with increased privacy and security. Keep in mind that using a VPN will slightly slow down your internet connection as your traffic has to be encrypted and decrypted as it passes through the VPN server. But with a good, reliable VPN, you can kind of minimize that drop in speed. And that's why I have these three right here. They're some of the best VPNs that you can get in the business. But again, they all vary in terms of features and pricing and utility and server count. For example, with ExpressVPN, I've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. NordVPN will allow you to secure up to six devices simultaneously, and it's got over 5,300 servers in 59 countries. And with Surfshark, you've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and you'll virtually be able to secure up to an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. ExpressVPN is more of a premium, easy to use option that is very reliable and consistent, and it focuses very heavily on privacy and utmost anonymity. And you've got NordVPN, which gives you a whole bunch of bonus features. It's overall a very well-rounded option that offers a whole lot of value while being very reasonably priced. And you've got Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the premium features that you still get with more premium VPNs. And so in summary, a VPN is a useful tool for anyone looking to improve their online privacy and security, or to access content that may be restricted in their region. Just be sure to carefully research and compare different VPNs before choosing one. And keep in mind that using a VPN will slow down your internet connection, but with a good VPN, it will still be as close as it can be to your base speed. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, especially if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discount if you'd like to go straight to those. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.